and we're back with another episode of On the Record with Tiffany and Kevin. Yes. All right. So we're going to talk some some interesting things. My favorite things today. We got four sections. What's trending? What's new? What's going on there? Right. At the top of the hour, what is trending <laughs> on nine thirty a.m. The answer and the in the rest of the world. Yeah, so right now, uh, the January 6th uh, uh, commission is going, and man, you know, I know wow. there, I know a lot of people aren't showing. Train wreck. I know Fox isn't showing it, which I'm disappointed about that, right? Especially given that they are the network that says, hey, uh, you decide or something like that, right? I don't think they should be screening uh, the news because it is a major political event that, that just happened. You know, people a- attacked the, uh, marched on and attacked the Capitol and rioted and desecrated uh uh the, the senate building right which is just totally mm-hmm. crazy but uh one of the things that they did yesterday they came out and i want to ask you what you thought about it miss smith was uh the degree uh to which um how do i say this the corruption of donald trump right i mean uh, even after right so first of all he knew that he was not going to win they showed that unequivocal he knew that and then he led uh people astray uh coming from the white house saying that hey the only way they can win is if they cheat i mean come on now you're the president of the united states considered the leader of the free world but he knew unequivocally that if there was no absolutely no uh, uh, there was no fraud that was committed in any substantial way that would sway the vote. That Everyone kept saying that, right? There was no substantial, uh, nothing committed substantially to sway the vote. But he still came out and, uh, and got people riled up. So what did you think about that part of it? Well, I thought it was telling that his, his people told him there is nothing there. Mm-hmm. There's nothing there. Don't, don't go down this road. Yeah. His own people told him that, and that's what came out in this these hearings. But I think that that a telling thing about our our country is that somebody like this, who is not uh, taking into account the real weight of the presidency. When you say something as the president, when you say something as the leader of an organization, people listen. And so you have to be careful about the words that you use, about what you're telling people. Uh, all of that, all of the stuff that he did, he led up to that. Well, I slightly disagree with you just in one point. I think he realized the weight of what he was saying and, and, and the weight and the gravitas of the office. He just didn't give a crap. He just decided he's going to say it. He's going to desecrate everything that's sacred in America, right? So that's that's where I come from. Because sometimes I feel like that as a conservative in these past few four four or five years, I feel like you have to be stupid and cut your brain off and not engage with reality of what's going on, right? So you know, people, good friends that I know are going down the Q hole. I'm just like, oh my God, you really believe that? People have no idea of how to judge what is real, what is not. They just simply go off with the crazy. And unfortunately right now, we are having to weather this in the party. Like, I'm like, when is this part of it going to be over? When do we get past Donald Trump? Well, that's because you have things like 24 hour news and you have organizations calling themselves outwardly news. When in affidavits, uh, Fox News says that they do not have 24-hour news, that they have about uh, 22 hours of op-ed and two hours of news. But the public doesn't know that. They they think that everything that is being said there Mm -hmm. is news, that is being verified, and it's not. It's yeah. not. So when you when you have that and somebody's out there giving their opinion, but they're giving it like it's the truth. Sometimes I'm here. I'm, a, a lot of people take that as, as people take a public figure as telling them the truth okay. and they will run with Bill Barr, whatever is being said. I, for me, one of the one of the highlights of the whole thing was Bill Barr. Right. And, and I kind of go back and forth with Bill Barr. It depends. Some days I love him. Some days I hate him. You know, but he's always been a, he's, he's always been a, a person who uh, has had his convictions and he he could he could logically base his his belief or his actions on something, even when you disagreed with him. Right. So Bill Barr is there and uh, and his 
his testimony was in my uh, from my viewpoint was was the highlight of the time there when he essentially said he, when he, he essentially when he met with the president, he came to the end of it. He was getting frustrated. And he said, look, this whole thing about there being uh, cheating and this gross misconduct in the election is just B.S. And There's you need to knock there. it off You knock it off. Right. And then he goes so far as to say uh, that the, he says, I even watched the I think it's 2000 mules with uh, the Tesh. The, I've always I always mispronounced the Tesh's last name, but it's basically a conspiracy, uh, uh, a conspiracy op ed, if you will, for op ed. And I'm using that lightly. It's a conspiracy piece that's being promoted in conservative circles right now about how, hey, how mm-hmm. there was all this cheating in Georgia and all this stuff. And Bill Barr was like, hey, I was curious. I was wondering. He said he had he said he had uh, f- uh, photographs of it. I want to see. And then after he watched it, he said, it's complete bull. No. Mm-hmm. And then the whole room broke out in laughter saying, hey, this is crap. So as a conservative, please turn your brain on. I mean, just turn it on on that part here. You know, you can disagree and not like the other side, but it's just too far. Right. And I had a friend say, why are you always talking about conservatives? Because that's the, those are the circles I go in. I mean, those are the circles I'm in. That, that's the material that I'm taking in. And uh, it's I just, tough to be in in those circles with a dissenting opinion, because this has to be the most lunacy I have ever seen going around where people are actually going along with yeah. complete and total nonsense lies nonsense that is being promoted yet when you talk to them about truth and about real patriotism uh, it's like it's like you people's eyes are glassed over hey but i think good sign that we're going to get through this trumpism as a as a party in in alabama uh trump had given initially had given his uh his uh endorsement of of mo brooks right i always want to think mo better blues so i refer <laughs> to him as and they're in the senate race in in alabama and i forget the other late the lady's name who's who's opposing him in in the primary but i, I really don't care too much for her right so trump had given his uh his, his endorsement uh, of Mo, and then took it back at the last minute because Mo was just like, no, no, there was no cheating in Alabama on the vote. I'm not going to promote that crap, right? And that's me just thinking that's what he said because that's who his personality. Well, a lot means. of people feel that way because, but he took uh, the vote the, and gave it to the, the, he took his endorsement and gave it to the, his opponent. And now people in the party are like, no, because you have a lot of social uh, media influencers are like, hey, ignore Trump. We want to vote for Mo. That's who we're going. Mm-hmm. I want to always say Mo Better Blues. <laughs> but anyway. Well, the whole concept of, of there having been some sort of fraud, there were many people who are Republicans that were counting oh, yeah. uh, ballots. Life so you, Republicans. You are, are disparaging people who, have, who, have, who are committed. Mm-hmm. To sovereignty and freedom care. and Trump is and not loyal. Voting. Trump Trump is and, not loyal. And that, you know, he he's he's taken down many a career with all of this nonsense that he has going. Well, you know, hopefully we get through this phase of lunacy uh, and get and get back in touch with reality, right? Because it makes it hard uh, as a uh, as a as a B one black first Republican when you're trying to convince people to become a Republican, right? And so I don't know what's going on. Well, I do. I try not to read, read the stuff on the left. It gives me a headache, right? I'm thinking, how can people believe this lunacy, right? But because, we've got lunacy on both sides. But most yeah, people let's not do a what aboutism on that one because sometimes the left is a little far out there because I just can't uh, get down. And, the, and same thing with the right. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with the right because when, so, when you look at, at uh, this, this uh, pandering to white supremacy, uh, that is equally as toxic. Yeah. It's toxic. And don't try to gaslight me with any of your comments so, about, no, it's not what it's about. That is what it's yeah, about. That's right? what it is. So, and and uh, sitting up here saying, well, the left, no, let's talk about the right. Let's talk about the spirit, about the plank that's in your own eye. 
Let's talk about that plank. So let's make America sane again, Tiffany. Mm-hmm. That's what I say. Let's make America right. sane. And for all you, any of uh, any of my B1 uh, foundational black people listening, uh, please join us. Come get in the party. Right? Uh, it's the party of uh, of what of it's it is the party of common sense from my viewpoint. Mm-hmm. I just we just got to get through this particular wave of it. There. Well, there's an opportunity here. There's an opportunity to be heard and to stand up against things that that are not right. Yeah. And to uh, make some new allies and and coalitions because yeah. we definitely need uh, the African American voice in this party. And I'm not talking about the talking heads, but I'm talking about people yeah. who actually live I don't in want neighborhoods. You to, yeah, we don't want you to vote actually, Republican. We want you to go out and be Republican and participate in the party. Right. Don't we don't want you to vote. We, we don't want you to vote Republican. Right. But we want you to participate Republican, uh, be involved in the party, have an influence on who well, he's he's saying what runs. he thinks. And my my thoughts are is uh, be black yes. and support us, support who we are. Now, and walk into into the party. Now, that's that's my thoughts. You, you get to say what you want to say. Know. But, uh, but the, about me those are, I never the, said no, don't no, no, be black. No, no. I didn't hey, say be hey, I'm Owens. just saying. I'm saying. I'm saying what my thoughts are. Be black. Be black first. Remember who you are and what you come from. And walk into the party with that, and influence the party with that. That's what needs to happen in the Republican See, Party. now this not, is funny. Not, you just, told not me, just whatever. You told me to dial that back a little bit, and you just go hey, straight for the jug. You, you were whatever upset you that say, I called man. Candace Owens a plantation Negro. No, I said Negro, you need to dial and, back and, talk, and talking to elder people. A, 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 who a cares about who, you know, for me, I don't even mention but, but names like that because I, I don't care about I them. I mention those names because those are the first names that come to people's minds. When, when you talk to anybody black about being a Republican, that comes to their mind first. You mm-hmm. Told me to dial back on that, and you went right at it. Oh, oh whatever, Lord. man. <laughs> you can say what you. No, I told you to dial back on on old girl. All right. I get tired of mentioning her. All right. I, I don't. I don't like mentioning and giving it play. This is on the record with Kevin and Tiffany, where we support being black first and coming into the party. Be remember to be black and a Republican. You can do both those things. They are not mutually exclusive. In fact, we need you to do both those things. All right. Are you listening to on the record with Tiffany and Kevin? On 9.30 a.m. The Answer.